Seth Money right. Brown, Mary right. Smith Jr. That boy Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> yeah. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one right here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We got Canelo Alvarez, the legend, the four division world champion, the undisputed super middleweight world champion, the hottest fight on the planet, and the number one pound for pound fight in the game. Then we have Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. We all know the former unified middleweight world champion. And now he is the IBF middleweight world champion. But Triple G has came out, everybody, you know, and said some things about Canelo Alvarez. Um, hating on Canelo Alvarez. That's what he's doing, hating on Canelo Alvarez. I want y'all to listen to what Triple G had to say um, in an interview with The Time. He said, to be honest, I am a little tired of this series of boxing like carbon copy fighters. What Eddie Hearn is trying to do is present one of his fighters for Canelo after another. It's like a soap opera that we're all tired of. I think it's time to move on, and I think he should face the truth and have some conscience to end this because there are more interesting opportunities. So, Gennady Golovkin is out here trying to say that, you know, it's better fighters to fight. You know what I mean? He also said that he don't think... Canelo Alvarez is number one pound for pound fighter. Triple G said it depends what we take as the criteria. Then he also said after my fights with him, I don't consider him the best. So now we see Triple G is a hater just like Tim Bradley, just like Andre Ward, just like Mayweather at times. These people are jealous of Canelo, man. Period. They jealous. Now, since Triple G want to be a little asshole, I got Canelo whooping his ass twice. I had Canelo winning the first fight. I had Canelo winning the second fight. Now, if you say after your fight you don't consider Canelo Alvarez the number one pound for pound fighter or the best, then who do you consider because he whooped your ass? You feel me? You sitting up there, oh, crying, crying, crying. And Canelo out here making history, bro. He's out here making history. You talking about, oh, Canelo with a soap opera right a fucking soap opera triple g who have you fought last bro who have you fought last let's just keep it real after you fought canelo alvarez the biggest fights of your career and the biggest paydays of your career right you should be thanking canelo you should be thanking canelo triple g because you weren't making that money until canelo fought you man canelo helped you get that deal with the zone and what did you do what did you do? You went out and fired your trainer. You went and fired your trainer. You disloyal mother. You know what? You feel me? You went and fired your trainer, bro. Not Canelo. I repeat. Not Canelo. But another thing with Triple G, man. He got a draw. No, 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 no. Matter of fact, not even a draw. They got you the W against Sergey Dervachenko. And we all know Sergey Dervachenko whoop you, bro. We all know he whooped you. So, let's just go. After Canelo Alvarez, you fought Vane Water Rosen, a man that was not a 160-pounder. Right? We all know he won a 160-pounder. When Canelo, after Canelo fought you, bro, guess who Canelo fought? You again. You understand what I'm saying? He fought you twice back-to-back, -back, bro. Back-to-back. -back. And you want to hate on him, dog? You want to hate on him? Like, come on, Triple G. Don't be a sucker, bro. Don't be a sucker. Canelo whooped you twice to Monty Brown TV. The first fight was close. I thought he won it still. I thought he landed better shots. You know what I'm saying? You was working your jab. You was coming forward with the pressure. But I still thought Canelo Alvarez landed the better shots. And I feel like them pity pet jabs that they was counting for you weren't really doing shit. But you did hold your own at times. The second fight, I feel like Canelo took it to you and walked you down. Even after your trainer said if Canelo standing there with you, you go knock him out. Even after you said you want big, big drama show, Mexican style, Mexican style, Max, 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 big, big drama show. Canelo gave your ass that Mexican style, and you couldn't handle it, Triple G. You couldn't handle it, bro. But now you want to come out and say that Canelo Alvarez um has a soap opera going on, bro? A soap opera? Are you serious? Are you serious, Triple G? 
Because when, when we go down your resume, bro, and you want to talk about cherry picking, like I say, Vane Mother Rosen, 160, I mean, wasn't even 160 pounds. He was like 154 pounds. really didn't have shit. Then you got Steve Rose. Who the fuck is Steve Rose? Nobody knows. Who the fuck is Steve Rose? Nobody knows. Who the fuck is Steve Rose? Nobody knows. And then you went and fought Sergey Derevchenko, who we all thought beat you, right? Put it on your ass. Bop, bing, bop, bop, bing, bop, boom, boom, boom. But the zone didn't want you to lose, so they gave you the victory. Then you fought Camille Semarimetta. I can't even pronounce his damn name. Right? 21 and 0. A nobody. A nobody. And then you fit a fight Ryota Murata, bro. Ryota Murata. So, after Canelo, right, you fought... One, two, three times since 2018, bro. You fought once, twice in 2019, and you fought once in 2020, right? Once in 2019 and once in 2020, bro. Since Canelo Alvarez fought you, Triple G, he fought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Seven times. Since 2019, family. Seven. Seven times, bro. No service since 2018. He beat your ass in 2018. And he fought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, bro. Canelo fought seven times and became came and cleared out a whole division, became undisputed in his fourth division. Fourth, right? No, sorry, in his third division because 68 is 3, 75 is 4. But nonetheless, he's a four-division world champion, right? Undisputed. And what have you done since then? What have you done since getting a, a, a fucking a, a special win over Derichenko? They gave that to you because Derichenko won, right? And just retained the title to be an IBF world champion. That's it. You haven't done shit. You haven't even moved out the division, man. Your whole fucking career been at 160 pounds. But you got the nerve to say that Canelo shit is a soap opera? You jealous son of a gun, you? That's all you are is jealous, Triple G. You've been jealous. You're going to continue to be jealous. Your coach even showed that you was jealous. Then you fired your coach. He was jealous of you. So what's really going on? Canelo broke y'all ass up. <laughs> you feel me? Canelo broke y'all ass up and do what he does best. You feel me? So when Triple G come out talking about Canelo Alvarez's career as a soap opera, well, you paying close attention to it, motherfucker. You watching it damn closely, ain't you? Damn closely. And not only that, my guy Eddie Reynoso came out and said he probably welcome a third fight with you in Mexico. They probably welcome a third fight with you in Mexico. I don't even want to see Canelo fight you again. I don't. When you want to come out and say that he's not the pound for pound number one fighter on the planet when he is because you're jealous of him. I don't even want to see Canelo give your ass another payday because that's all he giving you is a payday. And he going to fuck you up and knock you out. He's going to fuck you up and knock you out. And you better hope you make it past Murata, bro. You better hope you make it past that Japanese over in Japan. First of all, let's get that together. Let's get that straight. You understand what I'm saying? Because last time I checked, you're not trying to fight Demetrius Andrade. You're not trying to fight Jamal Cholo, right? You're not trying to fight those guys. So what the fuck have your career been? What have your career been, bro? At least Canelo went up to 68 and just docked off three fucking undefeated champions and cleaned that bitch out to become undisputed. What have you done, bro? Let's keep it real. Y'all boys be hating on Canelo Alvarez because he is the shit, dog. He is it. He is everything that y'all want to be. Canelo Alvarez is everything that y'all want to be, dog. You want to be the number one face of boxing. You want to be the pound for pound king. You want to be the money man. You want to be the person that when, when you fight somebody, you're giving them the biggest paydays of their life and you putting them on the biggest stage of their life, bro. You want that glam. You want that glory. You want that spot, Flash. You want it, Triple G. But you're not going to get it because Canelo put in the hard work, the dedication. He got the discipline. And he is loyal, bro. Oh, my God. Canelo Alvarez is loyal. We don't speak on how loyal Canelo is, bro. We don't. We don't. Canelo knew that Oscar De La Hoya wasn't about shit for real. 
When Richard Schaefer tried to get him to go to PBC, he stayed solid with Oscar De La Hoya. And then Oscar De La Hoya turned around and backstabbed and fucked him over and he moved on from him. But Canelo Alvarez is with the same trainers that he started with as a kid, fam. As a kid. He's loyal to the soil, man. He's loyal to Mexico and his people and the fans. He's loyal to Monty Brown and his and, and, and all the fans around the world, bro. To make sure. To make sure that he go out there and be victorious, man. And give it all he got inside that square circle. And he's not going to cheat us. He's not going to cheat us not one bit. He put the hard work in, bro. He put it in. He earned this position, Triple G. He earned it. And when you can man up and tell Canelo Alvarez the truth, letting him know that he's running this bitch, right? Then I, I tell you, you might get a third fight. You just might, bro. You just might. But as long as you run around her acting like a sucker, like a chump, like all these other cats hating on Canelo, pissed off at Canelo because he's running the game and Canelo can do what the fuck he want to do and y'all don't like that? Y'all don't like it? Because y'all old and on y'all way out the door? And Canelo's still young and making more history and going down in the history books as one of the greatest to ever lace him up. And that's the greatest Mexican fighter of all time. Y'all boys can't stand that shit. And not only that, you on this resume, dog. <laughs> you on this resume. You dig? On your resume, your shit got a big ass L. On Canelo's resume, he got a big ass um, green W, bro. And he got a little blue draw right there. But that should be a big ass green W. You understand what I'm saying? But it's all good, though. It's all good, though. Triple G comes out, hates on Canelo just like everybody else. This ain't nothing new, man. Canelo used to this type of shit. He used to it. But just know this. He beat Triple G ass twice. Twice. And I promise y'all this one. And I'm promising this to y'all. Listen to me. If Eddie Renault so blessed, Triple G with a third fight. And if he be a man and take it in Mexico, Canelo Alvarez will knock Triple G the fuck out. And he will retire that man from boxing i'm standing on my words and i mean my words if triple g is blessed with a third fight with canelo alvarez canelo alvarez is going to knock him the fuck out and canelo alvarez will retire triple g from boxing and i bet anything on it fam i bet anything on it now run tell that run tell that haters period bro Canelo Alvarez is the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Triple G is jealous of Canelo because Canelo took his fucking heart, took his soul, right? Parked his ass on the side of the road and went on to make more history at the end of the day, fam. At the end of the day. Now Canelo got another big ass fight coming up in, in Cinco de Mayo. He's going to make more history by being a five division world champion. And Triple G will be jealous of that as, as well. And it don't make no sense for y'all boys to be hating on Canelo because he's holding down a sport that all y'all love and that all y'all getting money from. Show Canelo how much that he deserved, bro. Give him his praise and his flowers while he here. All you jealous motherfuckers. At the end of the day, Canelo running this shit and they don't like it. Until then, this your boy Monty. It's the NSBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Monty on Cash App. Trey have to 52 at gmail.com or PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.